In the vast stories of the Bible, Methuselah often goes unnoticed despite being the longest lived human recorded. The Bible plainly states, all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died, Genesis 5, 27. This long life implies he witnessed significant changes and accumulated vast experiences. Born into a lineage marked by extraordinary longevity and divine encounters, Methuselah's story bridges the realms of man and God. His era, when people lived for centuries, was a different time when humanity was closely connected to its origins. Adam and Eve had other children after Cain and Abel, and with the growth of their family came the birth of civilization itself. Genesis 5, 4. Among these early generations, Methuselah's father, Enoch, stood out as a man who walked closely with God and never experienced death as others did. Genesis 5, 21, 24. Methuselah was blessed with a life that spanned nearly a millennium and became the grandfather of Noah, who was chosen by God to build an ark to survive the great flood. Genesis 5, 28, 29. Methuselah's story is not only about his remarkable age, but also the significant meanings behind his name and life. Enoch, Methuselah's father, prophesied about a future judgment, warning of God's coming with thousands of holy ones to judge the ungodly, Jude 14, 15. Methuselah's name itself, meaning when he dies, it will happen, signifies that his death would bring about God's judgment. This interpretation highlights God's patience, as Methuselah lived longer than any other human recorded. The day after Methuselah died, it began to rain heavily, leading to the great flood. His long life and timing of his death demonstrate God's rich mercy, giving humanity ample time to repent. This parallels the New Testament's warnings about scoffers in the last days, doubting the promise of Jesus' return. 2 Peter 3, 3, 7. The long life of Methuselah serves as a reminder of God's mercy and patience, providing people the opportunity to turn back to him before the final. Judgment arrives. The world had taken a dark turn. Humanity, once created in innocence, was now diving deeper into paths of wickedness and rebellion. The Bible tells us God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Genesis 6, 5. It seemed like humanity had lost its way, moving further from the divine and closer to chaos. Amid this darkness, there was one good man named Noah, the grandson of Methuselah and the son of Lamech. Even when everyone else was doing wrong, Noah remained righteous. Because of his faithfulness, God told Noah about his plan to send a massive flood to cleanse the earth of its evil. God, being kind and gracious, gave Noah a way to save himself and his family. He instructed Noah to build a large boat to keep his family and two of every animal safe from the coming flood, saying, But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark thou, and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. Genesis 6, 18. While the world continued in its waywardness, Noah and his family prepared for the promised storm. As the final days of the pre-flood world neared their end, Methuselah's long journey on this earth also concluded, symbolically marking the close of an era. The Bible paints a picture of a world filled with sin, violence, and moral corruption in the early chapters of Genesis, particularly in Genesis 6, 1-5. In such an environment, people were consumed by their desires, always seeking to do whatever they wanted, regardless of the cost to others. Honesty, integrity, and kindness were not celebrated virtues. Instead, deceit and manipulation ruled the day. Families were not sanctuaries of love and support, but battlefields of deceit and betrayal. 
Governments were not institutions of justice, but systems of oppression. Amid this chaos, the Nephilim, often interpreted as the offspring of fallen angels and human women, further worsened the world's problems. Genesis 6, 2-4 They were admired and feared, pulling people further away from the true God. Yet, even in this dark chapter of human history, there was a glimmer of hope in Noah, who found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 6, 8 Jesus used the example of Noah's time to explain that the world carried on with their daily activities until the flood came and destroyed them all, just as it will be in the days of the Son of Man. Luke 17, 26, 30. God gave Noah supernatural revelations about future events on earth, enabling him and his family to prepare and survive the impending catastrophe. God warned Noah and provided him with a means of survival. Just as in Noah's time, today's world faces immense dangers and judgments. However, the positive aspect remains that God will continue to guide his faithful followers, offering them ways to endure and overcome these challenges. Methuselah's life, though not detailed extensively in the scriptures, signifies an era of divine patience and mercy amidst growing wickedness. His long life serves as a reminder of God's grace, holding back judgment to give humanity time for repentance. Methuselah's legacy extended through his grandson, Noah, who became a symbol of hope and survival during the Great Flood. As Genesis 5, 32 mentions, Noah was 500 years old when he fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Methuselah's lineage, therefore, played a crucial role in humanity's survival and the continuation of God's plan. His longevity teaches us about the value of time and the importance of using it wisely. Psalm 90, 12 encourages us to number our days to gain wisdom. Methuselah's life also underscores the importance of faith in God's plan, as highlighted in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, which urges trust in God's guidance. His story, alongside Abraham's journey of faith and hard work, as described in Genesis 12, 1, 10, emphasizes the need for active faith and preparation in fulfilling God's promises. Abraham's courage and perseverance in following God's command to move to a new land reflect a dynamic faith that combines belief with action, as exemplified in James 2, 17, 18. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.